Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, I would like to start by welcoming Father Savior Pirukum Dumbam, SVD, our visitator from the General Rate in Rome. Thank you, Father Savior. And we hear Father after communion. Father is from India. And today, let's learn a simple, beautiful greeting of the people of India. And that is Namaste. Namaste. And you know, the meaning of that means a lot of things, but basically for us, when you see a person and you greet the person, you're saying to that person, I see God in you. I say God in you. Beautiful greeting. It's a sign of respecting each other and reminding ourselves that we are brothers and sisters. And that Remember, whatever you do to anyone, you're doing it to God. So today, we now invite you to greet one another. Namaste. 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 Wow. And there's another beautiful word we need to learn today. From India, Danyawat. Danyawat means thank you. Danyawat. Okay, let's do that again. Danyawat. Danyawat. Let's do it all together. Namaste. Danyawat. Namaste. Danyawat. Wow, ang bilis yung matuto. Brothers and sisters, I see God in you. Don't forget that. But if God is looking at us now, what does He see in you? Ano kaya ang nakikita ni Lord sa iyo naman? Nako, ikaw nang sasagot yan. But sana, God will, as He looks at you, will tell you, I see faith in you. Have that faith. Don't lose faith. Be faithful. And this is my prayer. Lord, increase our faith. Decrease our doubts. Decrease our pride. If you have that prayer, you'll keep walking. Peter... Walk on the water. Looking at Jesus. And then what happened? Started to sink. Because of lack of faith. By the way, uh, walking. Senior citizens, how many of you are still walking? Walking is good for the health. Right? You know, I know someone, she started walking at the age of 65. Imagine. Up to now, she's still walking. We don't know where she is. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Look, keep walking in faith. This is what Peter reminds us in a special way today. Sisters and brothers, why do we sink? Ikaw ba feeling mo lumulubog ka na? Why are you sinking? You're traveling so heavy. You're getting tired. You're getting confused. Why? Why do you sink? Because, look at Peter. As long as Peter was looking at the Lord, he was okay. But what happened? 
he started to look at the sea, the big waves. Natakot siya, the big waves, and he saw himself so small. So he started to sing because he removed his focus on the Lord. Sisters and brothers, whatever you're going through now, maybe you're going through sickness, worried about expenses, maybe you have a problem, relationship, a heartbreak, you're being persecuted, you feel humiliated, keep looking at the Lord and you will have that peace and strength. As long as you're looking at the Lord, you'll be okay. Remember, Moses, as long as the people were looking at the, what Moses was showing them, they were okay. Same, Lord, help me to see you through the darkness. Even in your darkest sin, the light of the Lord is there. Never forget that. God never shuts off the light. Mayroon palaging kandila. A candle glow will always be waiting for you. So you will find your way back home. Sisters and brothers, why do we sink? Lack of faith. That's the first one. And no, our prayer is, Lord, save me. Lord, increase my faith. Lessen my doubts. Lessen my pride. Madalas mo kayabangan natin. Eh. Kaya ko lahat yan. Akong bahala. On my own resources, I can do it. No, you can't. Today, let's be humble and say, Lord, I need you. We need you. Without you, we are nothing. Without the Holy Spirit, we are empty. We are vain. We are proud. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit. And one of the words you must never forget is what is said in the gospel today. Take courage. It is I. Be strong. Ako ito. When you go through any sickness, the Lord tells you, be strong. I am with you. I am with you always and in all ways. Second, why we sink? Lack of prayer. Kulang sa dasal. Pag marunong ka magdasal, ano man ang mangyari, you rise above. If you know how to pray, and pray with the heart, not just uh, oral prayer na parang kwan mo lang yun, minamadali mo lang. Oh, you pray with the heart. Some of the best prayers are without words. In fact, tears are some of the best prayers. Ang luha ay isang napakagandang panalangin. No need for words. Somebody once said, it is better to have a heart without words than to have words without a heart. I invite you now to bow your head. Put your right hand over your heart. Just whisper or just be quiet before God. He knows everything. He is listening. He is here. Allow God to bless you. Allow God to embrace you, whoever you are, whatever you're going to. Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Huwag kang matakot. Kasama mo ako. Hindi hindi kita pababayaan. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mama Mary. Thank you, saints and martyrs. Thank you, guardian angel. Amen and amen. 
felt the presence of God. We share the presence of God. Yung katabi mo mukhang aburido. Pwede bang akbayan mo yan uli at sabi mo, Don't worry. Be happy. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Amen. Oh, let's sing it. When the Lord is with us, we sing. God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Me too. Pakibless mo nga ali yung katabi mo. God bless you. Pisil-pisilin mo yung pisngi niya. Mama Mary loves you. Me too. See what the presence of God can do? Ah, what's the secret then? Focus on the Lord, not on the load. That's why you're sinking. You're focusing on the load of problems, load of sickness, load of money to pay, load of... Loaded ka. And you forget. You are loaded. Even if you're loaded with problems, you are loaded. The Lord is there. The other reason is, many of us, we focus on the world, not on the Lord. Ah, the joys, the pleasures, the pride, the positions, the possessions. Wow. Yan ang tinitignan mo palagi, and you forget the Lord. No matter how loaded you are materially, don't forget, you are loaded. You have a master. You have a Lord. So question po, Jesus went to the mountain to pray. That's why he was strong. Ikaw kapatid, could you please check now, do you have a prayer mountain? A time or a place where you pray really every day. Please make that time now. Some of you, upon waking up, I know I hear they start praying. Rosary, meditation. Sometimes you go to the YouTube and all beautiful prayers there. Find time for God first. Your prayer mountain. You kagigising mo palang cell phone, I schedule, kung ano na. Hello, God first. That's the way to start the day. And all throughout the day, uh, try to find time to be in the presence of God. To be in the presence of God. How do I do this? Many times during the day, I just pause and acknowledge the presence of God. Father, you are here. Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here. Mama Mary, you are here. Just to be aware, to connect with God. Moments, and anything that happens, God speaks to you. For example, may I share with you, well, I was in Iloilo last week, for a healing mass in Haro. Wow, what big faith people have there. The church, the cathedral was full. That's real faith, mainit and all, but Damo gid salamat sa mga nasa Iloilo and all those. But what hit me was when I arrived at the airport, airport a, a man, security of the airport, approached me and said, Father Orbos. I said, oh, yes, sir. Here we go. And he put out his scapular. Father, you gave me this five years ago. I'm wearing it ever since every day still with me father and i said in my heart oh man of big faith that for me was a beautiful reminder big faith may i share with you also another moment you know some weeks ago i was contemplating to buy for myself a bicycle <laughs> magsi 70 na ako October, but I said, maybe I can still manage a bicycle. But then I said, ah, wag na lang. Extra expense pa yan. And maybe I'm afraid I might fall down. So, so that's it. 
About two weeks ago, guess what? A friend of mine, Rick, dropped by bringing 10 bicycles surplus from Japan. And I said to myself, Oh, Jerry, oh, man of little faith. God speaks to us in very simple ways. Even in that crying of a child, God is speaking to us. Anytime. How deep is your love? How deep is your faith? Uh, I do 10,000 steps. Hangat kaya. I try my best. 10,000 steps a day, right? You try it. Sometimes you don't complete it. That's okay. But for me, that's good for the body. And good for the soul. You know why? Yung mga nag walking palagi, make that your prayer time as well. Don't just burn calories. Say, Hail Marys. Ang dami nun. Time to, me time. It's a me time and me and God time. By all means, experience, renew your faith in every simple way every day. Sisters, brothers, God is a God of love. May we continue to be aware of God's presence. And may we continue to see God in each one. God is a God of love. Today, we honor our Mother Mary. Assumption na po. When is Assumption? August 15. To remind us of this woman who was a lowly woman, small stature, but big faith. Mama Mary teaches us to be more trusting in you. And please remember this. God has a hard time dealing with people who have big ego. Mahira po mag-operate si Lord kung masyadong malaki ang pride mo sa sarili mo. God uses the little ones. And if you're not little, then it's hard for God to become big in your life. And please remember this too. When you choose peace, all of us want to have peace. But when you want to have peace, remember, peace comes with a lot of goodbyes. Alam mo yan ang gugulo, nagpapababa sa'yo, baka pwede mo na yan i-let go. Then you'll be more peaceful. You're so attached to your money, to your popularity, whatever, to your beauty, comfort. If you really want to have more peace, let go and just hold on to the Lord. How can you hold on to God when your hands are like this? If your hands are empty, then you can really hold on to God. Please bow your heads. Today, we pray Psalm 51. Create in me a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me, Lord. Do not cast me away from your presence and take the Holy Spirit away from me. Restore me, restore to me the joy of salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Lord, increase my faith, decrease my doubts, and my pride. Sisters and brothers, we pray in this Mass the grace to focus more on the Lord and less on the load and less on the world. Amen and Amen.